Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Dragon Age Origins. This is a kernel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as uh, I finally have uh, rearranged my toolbar over here so I know what I'm doing a little bit, uh, and also that life ward is an interesting thing that I want to use, and the petrify, I want to use petrify a little bit more uh, because that is a good crowd control as well. So yeah, okay. let's, let's move on, and uh, I am trying something different today. And uh, I ask you that you bear with me, because I will look at the result after, uh, after the, uh, where the heck is the enemies that we saw? Oh, we saw them on the minimap, right, right, right. Uh, I will, I will be looking after the episode is recorded, uh, at, uh, at the way I balance the sound. Let's see what I can do over here. Oh, it's a, dest you destroy the barricade? Okay. That was a very good barricade, uh, barricade, but we're good. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna actually automatically. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, automatically lower the volume of the game when I'm talking. So you're gonna get to hear if I shut up. You're gonna get to hear the normal volume of the game. Uh, and let's see what I can do here. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and if I talk over it, it just lowers it automatically. Now I hear it still pretty loud, so it's it's just it takes a little bit of getting used to do we have handlocks in here we don't really uh let's try and do that one let's try and do that one right there and then you are gonna do this one uh you're gonna do the overpower and i think that's gonna be enough everybody's gonna die and everybody does die indeed and as you can see the volume isn't as tremendous oh hi hmm. that was interesting and draining what was that? Did you summon the spirit? I called forth the spirit that sustains me so that it could lend us aid. I did not realize it would take this much out of me. It seemed a good idea at the time, if a little rash. I think it may have weakened the spirit a little. Really? That's good then. No, wait, that's bad. She, she's being sustained. So you could kill yourself doing this? Well... Um, that's certainly conceivable. I suppose I shouldn't be using that particular trick to entertain children at parties. Yes, I don't want you exerting yourself. I promise I'll be careful. And thank you. Your concern is touching. Okay. So yeah, the volume is a, a thing that I'm experimenting with. Uh, also for other Let's Plays. It's, it's just, uh, it's called ducking the uh the 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 effect and it's something that uh, i ever, ever since i was a kid listening to radio they do that automatically in the radio but they can also do that manually in the radio which is kind of interesting because you have a, a manual control for the volume and all that sort of stuff um but uh i'm doing it automatically so i will look at the results so if you can't hear me in the dialogue uh in the dialogue in the combat uh all that well i will be tuning and tweaking and all that so hopefully uh, it works well. I just didn't want to do it. Well, I might scrap this episode altogether, mind you, but still. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. So we're going... Are we going over there? I think we're going over there. We're not going to Ferelden yet. Uh, not Ferelden. Denerim. Is it Den Denerim? Ferelden is the whole thing. What is it? And here we are. Soldier's Peak. Maker's breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. <laughs> Just admit it, you were lost a couple of times. Um, she's impressive, that's for certain. It's just teeming with history. Can't you feel it? So, I'll follow you about from a distance. Follow this place about. has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Soldier's Peak. Looks like it's seen better days. Better centuries, more like. Once the Wardens flourished, their ranks full, their caliber certain. Now they even accept people like you, Alistair. Hey. Don't act surprised. No, exactly what she's talking about, Alistair. Well, not exactly what she's talking about. That's not... Hmm. Uh, anyway, I was looking at our uh, abilities here. And this shield wall is incredible. It sounds like it's pretty amazing. Um, it, it, it does decrease... Um, doesn't Isn't that the one that decreases attack? Mm, no, it does not. 
and he can have it right there, like that. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, it's uh, just you're just gonna stay there for a little while. Did you stop it? What? No. Good. Moving on then. This is tricky to tell where we can go and where we can't. Oh, it almost looks like we can go up there. This reminds me a lot of the painted world of Ariandel. Is it Ariandel in Dark Souls 1? Except a little bit less cluttery. Because of, you know, just snow. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hold up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. Yeah, I had a vision too, Levy. How is that possible? This place truly is haunted. Well, the world is full of mysteries. Yes, Warden. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. The possibility of just not telling him what's going on. Uh, we have a statue up here. We have a lot of dead people. Mm, I don't trust dead people. You shouldn't trust dead people. What th was this statue? I was. I, I wanted to put the statue. I wanted to look at this. It's impossible to look at the statue. It's impossible. Really? Can't really tell. No. Oh. oh, we can click on it. Yes! Ancient history. On the establishment of the base. I'm gonna go into Codex updated there. Ancient history. Learn. Oh, that's a quest. So, Codex updated. That's the one. The Great Warden base at Soldier Speak was built in the middle of the Glory Age. Several decades after the Second Blight was ended. Before then, the Great Wardens in Ferelden would take up residence in castles and forts that belonged to generous nobles. Oh, they didn't have laws about that. Okay. Or, because, you know, they could just say, oh, that's where I'm going to take up residence. But then again, the, aren't the Grey Warden just like a... They're not part of any country, so... that Yeah, that would be about the generosity of nobles. Warden Commander Gaspar Asturian, from the Asturia region, uh, in the Iberian Peninsula, decided or desired a uh, fortified headquarters where his forces could train and live. He planned that Soldier's Peak could be a city unto itself. The defeat of the Darkspawn and the Archdemon Zazikel was fresh in the minds of Ferelden people, and many were willing to donate gold to build Commander Asturians' fortress. Soldier's Peak was fully completed within 10 years and dedicated to the Maker in 934 Glory. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's... What? I don't understand the 934. Maybe that's explained? I imagine it is. This is DLC, so it's like after the, the setting is well established. So the writers knew what they were doing. Hopefully they, they knew. See, I told you not to trust dead people. I told you, and you didn't listen to me. And you, tr didn't you, you trusted them. You trusted them. So we have some corpses going around, some skeletons, and that one over there is not a thing. So let's see what I can do here. Uh, okay, I don't like you. Let's try and get you stunned in the face uh let's try and bring you i don't know what this guy's doing but he's getting out of here uh let's try and do this one that's good enough good 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 okay so you you, know, you can hiss at me all you like uh, that's not a very good hiss as hisses go that one could could be better uh so we're gonna want to petrify you i mean i want to destroy these guys so yeah they're gonna be good yeah, that's a lot of hissing right there. Uh, then I'm going to overpower you in the face. Uh, I'm going to try and petrify you, see how that one works. Uh, actually, I should read how that one works. The caster draws from the knowledge of elements turned the target into stone unless it passes a physical resistance check. While petrify, the target is immobile and vulnerable to shattering from critical hits as well. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have critical hits here on our assassin, which is quite a shame. Because we really... We really need that ability. I don't know if we can. I don't know if he, if assassins can get uh, wisdom criticals. That'd be really nice. Uh, we do have some nice stuff here. Uh, stuns and... Did he get shattered? 
I think I critted. Well, I guess assassins don't necessarily need automatic crits, because they just do crits. No, wait a minute. Don't they do backstabs? Automatic crits? I'm not sure. Hello. I'm here to freeze you all to death. That's what you get for being jerks. What are you? You're an acolyte. Uh, so let me try and attack you right there with that. Uh, and uh, let me see what you're doing. You're busy over here. Let's try and break you in the face. Uh, let's try. Yeah, let's just attack you. No, you're doing uh, one of those nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, so it's bad. What am I doing? Uh, things, things. Okay, so I can try and do below the belt. Nope, let's try and do this. That's the one. Let's try and uh, stun you. That's pretty good. And I'll just keep attacking you here. Oh, I can do a flurry. That's pretty nice. Uh, so Morrigan is just doing things up here. Nothing tremendous. Mm, a little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. And uh, just a normal attack. Meanwhile, a lot of hissing behind me. Okay, and I think everything is going well, so I'll just let Morgan do her thing. These guys didn't even turn against me, which is weird. Oh, well, they, they did. Man, so much hissing and being nasty. Oh no, that's that wasn't the end. Rule of thirds. What are you doing over there, dude? Okay, we have a warden, whatever that means. Um, okay, so we need uh, another freeze. Hi, and not the drink. Is that a, an international drink that I can reference and make, sh you know, make sure you know what the reference is? Uh, okay, so I will need a little bit. Okay, that's not great. Yeah, that, that I just ruined it. Did I ruin it? I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, that didn't work. Um, that's fine. That's fine. So we can f break you. We can bring Baylor around. And try to break you as well. Don't do that. Bows don't do that sound. Uh, so you're going to just be kind of cool. And uh, take all the damage that sounds good to me. Uh, we can give you a little bit of heroic defense. I can also give... Uh, rejuvenate. I wonder who you're applying that to. Rejuvenate. An ally. But I don't want an ally. I want a hero. No. Ally? Oh, Morgan, that's the one. Any. Rejuvenate. No, that doesn't make sense. Status. How does... Men or stamina below... How can I do it just once per combat? I can't do that, can I? I don't like that. I don't like these. Yeah, well, just it's good. It's that's that's how I do. That's how I do. I don't need you to do. This. Also, because it always goes for him anyway. So yeah, it's just we kill their leader, and that is a good thing. Okay, let's try and stun you before okay, you do nonsense, and then you do this, and I don't I have no idea what that is. But okay, you're a jerk, uh, and I am losing a lot of. Oh, yeah, I might want to do any ally below 25% of light rejuvenate. 25% stamina, I mean. But maybe that's not that great of an idea. We'll see. We'll see. But we did it. Save the game. We pulled it off. So, an antique warden crossbow. Tier 5. I like that. I don't care that it's antique. Yes. I mean, actually, I would. I would. I don't know. Actually, do crossbows age? Huh. Because the tensile strength of a crossbow is is uh, done. Well, there are wooden crossbows, but usually crossbows will be made of of metal, and the tensile strength is uh, due to that metal. So if, as long as the string is good, uh, which I think has a different name from the string in a bow. So I'm not even sure. I don't actually know the name of the string in a bow. I suppose it's just string. But the... Anyway, the, the different languages might say different things. Um, what I mean is crossbows, while they can be made of wood, and they were made of wood historically at, at, at certain stages and certain regions, um, they usually don't age the same. So they probably would rust. I don't know. I never, never dealt with a crossbow. I don't think I've ever seen a crossbow up close. 
I mean, even a, in a, an exhibition or anything, so I don't know. The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men, I won't lie to you. The situation is grim. Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving. And my great great grandmother stood with them. Yeah, and uh, she didn't talk to the women, which was interesting. She was like, Men, you will do this. Men, you will be strong. And the women were like, What about us? We don't. What? Can. What? Hmm? <laughs> oh boy. So King Arland was a tyrant? Not much is known of King Arland. The war I mean, of he was succession a king. that followed his death. Now, that was a piece of work. Lasted nearly a decade and almost burned Denerim and the palace to the ground. Loads of history was lost, but maybe there's answers to that inside. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. Okay. That was quite... Huh, I wish I wish that, uh, like, that dialogue felt like that... That, um, not dialogue, that, that speech just felt like... You know, just... Uh, it's, it's so, uh, we're gonna do, you know, that. there was no build-up for it, though, we just, we just saw it, we, yeah, I wish we knew the characters a little bit more, because that would have more impact, um, so, this poster reads, on these grounds, virtuous men stood against the tyrant, they stood defiant and stood for freedom, and they died, it is signed by the Grey Warden defenders who were besieged by King Arlan's forces. It's not even like. Did I misread that? Is it a capitalized M? Because that that has, well, at least there's a well in. I don't. I don't know if it, that is in English though. In Portuguese, we we capitalize certain words to denote a different meaning to them. Like for example, nature. The word nature, if it's nature as in Mother Nature, you don't necessarily have to say Mother, mother Nature. You can just say nature and capitalize it. And it's, uh, it's nature, so it's mother nature, as in, like, natural things. Or rather, not natural, not as, yes, natural things, but when you say the nature of somebody, you don't say with capitalized. And for men, you can do genderless men in Portuguese, uh, and I s assume maybe in English as well, I'm pretty sure you can't. Um, but maybe there's a tradition for that, I don't know, but it wasn't capitalized. So I think it is just, like, they forgot, or they did didn't maybe they changed maybe it was a change after the writing and it's like yeah there's just male characters in here let's put some women in there and then they didn't change the text and forgot about it so the women are just like eh, what are you doing <laughs> or were they not fighting they're not fighters but they were you saw them anyway it is signed by the great wardens let's read the name of the fallen captain Malu. uh Port portuguese name right there uh the black ferret char no wait chair thrower lopez that's that's a Spanish name. Sir Derek of Orlais, which is French. Derek is not a very French name, but anyway, Jason. Uh, Jason is just the the name. Jason is the name. Everybody should be named Jason. The Longbow. Without a coma. I guess that explains it. But there's an Oxford comb over there, so you can you have my forgiveness forgiveness for everything. Alan the Quibbler. Hello? Hello? I don't know. Cartography Martyr. Is that just the name of a person? I like that. <laughs> the Cartography Martyr. I. Hi, I'm. <laughs> my name is Martyr. Cryptography Martyr. I love it. I'm not even sure how to pronounce Martyr. Martyr? I, I don't know. David the Silent. Again, without a comma, but again, that's because we're. It's that it makes sense. Dustin the Colorblind. Eben of the Bovine Brethren. Pharrell 
Feral the Feral, Sir Graham the Untiring, and Jason Saint le Argonaut, the Argonauts, Saint le Argonauts. That's Jason from the Argonaut, Argon Argonauts. That's the mythical Jason. And where I say I say mythical, I'm not really sure if it's mythical. Is it is it supposed to be a myth or is it part of what I, the distinction between between classical history, uh, between myth, and between uh, classical literature, can be quite hazy. I'm pretty sure Jason is not the is not mythical. I think it's just. Oh, but then again, maybe he is because he was uh, wasn't he responsible for finding the uh, one of the like fundamental centerpieces of of the uh, of uh, classical. Uh, myth of, of the Greek myth, like the I don't know what it was called. It was basically the skin of a goat or whatever, but it has a name. It's like the fleece. Yeah, it's the fleece. Uh, it's some fleece. I'm not really sure. Anyway, Jason was a badass, as we know. Uh, Langley the Nefarious, Lucky Lacuna, Mad Dog Smeadows, 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 Matthias the Bloody, McQuirk, McGurk the Vile Priest, Melissa the Magical Malefactor. Also, fan of uh, the uh, the, the alliteration, Om the Stretched, and Packrat Dirksen, Sergeant Red Morrison. Actually, that's Sergeant Morrison, the Red. Uh, that's a name. That's of. That's of. I think that's that might be of American tradition to put the nickname in in between the first and last name. Because I we don't have that in Portuguese, and I only saw that uh, sort of only started seeing that sort of w notation, as it were, uh, when I started seeing more American things. I'm not sure. Santos, Santos could be Spanish, could be Portuguese. The Silent Scimitar. I think these are these are. Uh, uh, I wonder who they are. I don't. I don't know. Silent Scimitar, Vitriolic, Eric. They're entertaining though. Wick Eye Santos and Wellburn. Wellburn. Oh, that's an interesting name. The Exhaustive Fire. And there we go. Cool. I like it. I don't know what it is, though. I know this is DLC, though, so... I wonder. This game wasn't kickstarted. There was no such thing. The first indie games... <laughs> the first indie games. There there were many indie games throughout the ages. What I mean is the first indie games in the indie, gener uh, in the indie revolution weren't kickstarted. Kickstarted only started, like, 2012. I think. Also, where the heck are we? Did we... Did I... Mm. Isn't there no other entrance? Did we just go in there to see the men and have a ramble about uh, notation and capitalization of words? Maybe. All right. An arcane horror. Nah, I've done... I've just seen worse. Let's see what our Morgan can do. I don't know what you guys are doing. Hi. Hello. I think you guys might die with uh, this. So, I don't know what I want to do. The fireball is definitely not welcome. Okay, this is, none of this is welcome. That's good enough. Let's do it. I don't think she's going to do it in time. She did it in time. Okay, that's pretty good. So, you're... Uh, this guy's almost dead. I don't think... I don't think we need to worry about too much stuff. Uh, let's just uh, do some things. Super slow. I think there's an aura in here. That's kind of good. One of them is down. Don't call them fools. They just wanted to live a little bit. Hey, Levy. I, I, I forgot about yes. you. I keep forgetting about him. For the, when we saw him the, for the first time in here, I just sort of forgot. I had forgotten about him either. Uh, but yeah, he was the one that we saved in the huh. middle of nowhere. A message from Ban. The one Ban from Ban Methuen. Wolf, Arl Ruhan, an int uh, Sophia. Arl Ruhan and his entire family have been slaughtered, even the children. The Ruhan line is no more, and the Arling belongs to the crown for now. Arland believed Ruhan, Ruhan, I don't know how the H was does that. Uh, was plotting against him. Ruhan criticize the king's spending on winter sand that is all dash dash with a dash dash what is this 1982 i uh it, this game does it a lot it was an uh, an idle word spoken out of turn the king goes too far his brain is filled with madness and he clings to the crown like a drowning man clutches at a straw sophia i beg you help us if nothing is done more will suffer 
If th nothing is done, more will suffer. Your humble servant, Wolf. Dash dash. Uh, the dash dash. I think I'm, I commented about it already in this let's play. It's a thing I think the uh, the Apple II did, and it might be just how Mac works. I don't know because I've never. Uh, there's Commander Athlar. Oh, these guys have all names and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention. I never pay attention to enemy names. Like, I that's just terrible in some games. Not so much in others. But it's just, uh, it's really bad. Like, you play Dark Souls, you got invaded by somebody, and there's a... It shows up, the names and all that. And I just don't have no idea. So, these guys are pretty strong, because they didn't take any ice damage. But we should be fine. Ready. So they get shattered. Are you guys okay? Yeah, sure, it's fine. And uh, then you do that, and you die. Let's do electricity. I think they might be immune to ice or fire. Not ice. To uh, yeah, to ice damage, frost damage, or whatever. Uh, let's try and freeze you again. No, no, they do damage. They might be just resilient. You guys doing all right down there? Run while you can. Spirit damage maybe is immune. They're immune. To there we go. Pretty good. Here I am. Very nice. Okay, Warden yes. Skeleton, Lesser Illyrium Potion. You might know this that I put the the potions in, in a different spot, spot over here and all that. So we have another Codex update. A plea from Commander Athlar. That's the guy that well, I paid attention this time. Soldier speak is more than we bargained for. There is sinister magic at work here. The men... See, it's lowercase. Are seeing things and cannot tell nightmares from reality. The fallen return to life to attack again and again. And we are assaulted by dark creatures the likes of which I have never seen. Whoever is responsible is intent on destroying us all. Dash, dash. The king's army and the Grey Wardens both. Send help. We cannot last much longer. Hmm. You didn't. Well, you actually lasted for a bunch because you, were, you were undead. Actually, I should probably read into that because that might be the explanation or the boss of this place is um, who turned them in undead and we know who turned them undead it's a demon it's a demon and also it's the end of the episode uh, because we're out of time so for right now I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Dragon Age Origins I really hope you've enjoyed it I hope the sound is okay and if you're watching this I have deemed it okay but if you didn't if you want just let me know it's a, and let me know in the comments leave a like as well if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later or a dislike those count too they also go into the pool um for the better it's like it's all the same anyway so yeah it's in and uh, thank you for watching very appreciated uh, good bye